Hello and welcome to the additional features video for the first update to the web forms of 2021. This video will be mainly focused on changes within the nominal ledger, but there are some small changes to the customer and supplier records, as well as access to more settings from within the web forms. Starting with the nominal ledger, you are now able to create new nominal ledger records from the web forms. When creating a new record, you will need to provide a code and a name, and the cost center and department can also be assigned from the top right. A report category should also be entered to ensure this record can be picked up by the relevant financial statements or any of your own reports that you may have built. You can also choose which analysis code will be used for the record and set the budgets. There may be times that you're just looking to make changes to an existing nominal ledger record. For example, a change to the budget. There is now also an option to amend the nominal account, which allows you to view the current details and make changes where necessary. The ability to view the nominal ledger record will also be available from within the nominal ledger menu. Alongside the new features for the nominal ledger, your customer and supplier records will now have memo tabs within the web forms. This will allow you to add memos on the go for the specific accounts. This could be great for making a note about something you will need later to come back to rather than just writing it on your hand like I do. The customer record is getting the additional alerts tab too, meaning you can now set up alerts from anywhere at any time should something come up out of the woodwork whilst you are away from the desk. Finally, the customer and supplier ledger settings will be available from the web forms, allowing you to make last minute changes on the move. For example, a new policy could be agreed for the authorization limit on purchase invoices. This change can be made instantly from the new Sage 200 Cloud web forms. That wraps up our additional features video. If you've not already seen it, we'd recommend also checking out the new features available for the stock items in the latest release. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. To get a look at what's changing and what's coming up in the near future, keep an eye on the roadmap. And if you'd like to see a feature be added to the web forms, you can give us feedback using the Have Your Say tile. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and look forward to sharing more exciting updates with you very soon. Until next time.